one of the newest products hitting the shelves of your Claire J Sporting Goods location is a specialty food item called Backwoods Mustard. Now, this sweet jalapeno mustard got its start in Clare County Deer Camps and it's picking up steam across Michigan. You might have seen the Backwoods Venison Kebabs recipe on Michigan Out of Doors TV and they recently took part in an event at J Sporting Goods in Clare in partnership with M.I. Buck Pool called the Michigan Monsters Event. Now, I've been eating this mustard in just about everything for the past few months. I already know that it's great for grilling on a wood fire it browns meat well, but it doesn't burn, and it's really good for making sauces or dipping just about anything into it. So, I wanted to put this mustard to the ultimate test. I'm going to see if it can satisfy a hungry, pressured newspaper staff for lunch on the day before deadline. So, what I did is made a homemade barbecue sauce using backwoods mustard. Now, this barbecue sauce is really easy to make. Into a saucepan goes some ketchup, some apple cider vinegar, a little bit of water, some brown sugar, some white sugar, a little bit of pepper, some onion powder, and some Worcestershire sauce. Now you just let that simmer for about an hour, and then you put it into a bowl and add a half a cup of backwoods mustard. And there you have it, backwoods mustard barbecue sauce. Now, one of our crew members is a vegetarian, otherwise known as a bad hunter. So, because he isn't going to eat a backwoods burger, I whipped him up a salad with a backwoods dressing, which is just backwoods mustard with a bit of olive oil mixed in. Now, I'm going to see what these guys think about a burger with nothing but backwoods mustard and backwoods barbecue. No ketchup, no onions, no cheese, no tomato, nothing. Just beef and backwoods. Let's see what they had to say. Oh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed our lunch today. Uh, you know, normally I eat a burger. Um, one of my favorite meals is a big, thick, juicy burger uh, with all the fixings: uh, lettuce, tomatoes, you know, relish, um, you know, ketchup, um, mayonnaise, mustard. Um, the more the better for me with my burgers, but. Um, you know, Brandon uh, had the idea to put the backwoods mustard on it, and, and then uh, it's uh, along coupled with the uh, barbecue sauce that was made with backwoods mustard inside it, and uh, it really hit the spot. It was tasty. Uh, had enough spice, enough uh, enough sweetness, enough flavor, um, enough mustard taste, but yet a unique um, mustard flavor that I've never tasted before, and it, it really it was tasty. It was yummy. I love it. Epic mustard burger. Good. With nothing but the mustard. Yeah, I'd like to thank the guys at um, Backwood Mushrooms Company for spicing up our lunch today. Um, I'm a vegetarian, so uh, my partner Brandon made me a nice salad with uh, a mustard vinaigrette made out of the Backwoods mustard to uh, lighten up the salad a little bit. And it was absolutely fantastic. The mustard made me get on a roll. I started dipping my potato chips in the mustard. I made uh, a salad mustard sandwich because the mustard was so absolutely fantastic. And um, it's refreshing to have a smaller uh, company kind of, you know, spring up and uh, return back to its roots and really offer a nice product um, for your hometown patrons. It was a really, really nice lunch with back with the mustard. This mustard's so good. 